want to hear the word that causes Lutherans to fight? It's the word obey. Just throw that word out in a conversation that we have to obey Jesus and see what happens. Oh, we love to fight about that word because, first of all, we know that our obedience does not earn us salvation. We know that we cannot work hard enough or obey well enough that Jesus will forgive all of our sins. That's a gracious gift from his cross to us. But that word obey has a very big part in the second article of the Apostles' Creed. At the end of the creed, at the end of the explanation from Dr. Luther, he says this, that I may be his own and live under him in his kingdom and serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness. And that word right there, live under him, encapsulates obey. If we take the word obey apart, it really comes from two words. It comes from the word meaning being under and then being under one with authority to receive. So under one with authority to receive his gifts is what it means to obey. And that's exactly where we are because of the second article, because of what Jesus has done for us. He has gone to the cross. He has taken away the sins of all mankind from Adam and Eve and to people who aren't even born yet. Jesus has paid the price for all sin with his holy, precious, and innocent blood shed on the cross for you. And when Jesus on the cross said that our sins were forgiven, he speaks with the authority of the second member of the Trinity. God has said to you through the cross that you are forgiven. And there is no authority that can beat that. To live and to obey is to live under one who has authority that we might receive his gifts. You see, when we talk about the word obey, we get bent out of shape so quickly because someone is going to tell me what to do. Someone is going to push me around. I can't make decisions for myself. Well, when we talk about the word obey in the right sense, that it is being under someone who has authority, that we might receive the gifts, it changes everything. Jesus Christ on the cross has forgiven us, and now his desire is that we obey, that we live under him, under his authority, who has forgiven us, and we receive his gifts. We gather in the divine worship service, and what do we hear? As a called and ordained servant of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins. Your saints, you're free. You're forgiven by the authority of Jesus on the cross and living under him means that we continue to receive this gift and all the gifts that Christ lavishes on us. Obey, live under him, your savior, and receive his gifts. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.